हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी गोइंग टू डू वन इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दैट इज मैथस्टिक पैटर्न्स वी जस्ट ऑब्जर्व सम मैथस्टिक पैटर्न्स सी आई एम गोइंग टू जस्ट यूज दिस स्टिक्स टू मेक सम पैटर्न्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी मेक सी विथ दिस फाइन this is one c now i am making another one using the matchsticks only and just making them near about like them pasting them together okay how many c's are these these are two c fine this is one pattern of one c this is the pattern of two c's and now i'm making pattern of 3 c's just observe this one c these are two c's and these are three c's okay the pattern of c's i have made now how many math sticks are used to make one c here you can see for one c we have used three math sticks and here for two c's we have used how many math sticks just count 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 means 3 plus 3 6 and similarly in this third one where i have made pattern of three c's how many math sticks are used for one c i have used three second c three more and the third c three more three times three means i have used nine fine if i ask a question that how many math stick will be used to make 10 c's so let us understand this that we need not every time make the pattern because it may be asked ki how many math sticks will be used for 100 c's then we should just find out some rule 1 3 for 1 6 for 2 means 3 into 2 because 2 c's and 3 into 3 because 3 c's and 1 for 3 okay so let us generalize this now i have made a table here in which i am just going to note down that how many math stick are used for different c's fine so for making yet yeah, i have written number of c's formed so for making one c i have used three math sticks for making two c's i have used six fine for making three what i have used nine math stick so can you tell me how many math sticks will be used for four c's first of all so okay. one is three then six every time it is adding three so can we write here 12 yes so can't we get a rule of this are you getting because it is like a pattern is here so can we get a rule of that definitely we can get that so the rule for c's means rule for getting like how many math sticks will be required to make different number of c's we have done till 4 so we should know a rule so every time it is multiplied by 3 so let me write the rule here that will be 3 n because for one c it is 3 math sticks and n will represent that how many c's we want to make fine and n here is a unknown number means i don't know that how many uh like c's we will be required to make so for that any number you can put here suppose we need to make 100 c's so 3 multiplied by 100 no sign is here means multiplication so 3 multiplied by 100 it will be 300 math sticks will be required here okay so in this manner we can make the rules now we going to make one more pattern and you need to think that how many 
math 6 will be required for different number of that particular shape. So let us start that. Now the shape which I am going to make here, I am just making with this already made shape only. Can you tell me what is this shape? This is a square. Now I am making two squares. Can you see these are two squares which are joined together and these are three squares which are joined together. Now it is a little different. We need that how many math sticks required for different number of squares. So let us start writing that. You can see here like we have made one square first of all. Okay, so I have written, you can see it's one square. Okay, how many math sticks required? We have used four math sticks for one square. So here in the table I am writing four. Now, in the two squares, how many math sticks will be required? You can just count because one math stick is common among the two squares. You can count. Is it 8? Yeah, I am kidding. For 2 squares, we need, let us count once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 because 1 is common. So what should I write here? In place of 8, I am writing 7. So this is the thing which is different that we cannot just double of, we cannot do the double of that if 2 squares to be made. Now, how many math sticks will be required for 3 squares? You can see here 1, 2, 3 is common every time. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So let us write how many math sticks will be used for making these 3 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But 1 is extra means 10. You just observe this pattern. Every time 3 plus 3 plus 3 and 1 extra. If we make more then again 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 extra. So can we say that every time this 3 multiplied by number of squares but 1 is extra means plus 1 is there. Okay. So we can think in this manner but let us write for 3 first of all. So for 3 we need how many math sticks? 10. But as we have just discussed that for 4 how many math sticks will be required? Because 3 plus 3 plus 3 and plus 3 means 3 4 is a 12 and 1 extra. It means we will be required 13 math sticks to make 4 squares and so on. And we will going to find out for 10 but we need to write the rule first of all. Is it clear? So let us write the rule. As I told you that every time here the three math sticks like we are adding every time three for each square we made. So we can write here rule for squares. So what will be the rule? As I am saying every time let us take another letter. This letter alphabet which we are using will represent the what will it represent it will represent the number of squares we made fine this three which is every time repeating whenever we made the next one square fine so three multiplied by x that the number of squares we need but every time we are finding one extra 3x plus 1. So we can check also the rule which we have made is right or wrong. You can see we have written 3x plus 1 here. Okay. So now let us check. If we need to make 1 square. So we will put 1 in place of this. No sign means it is multiplication. So 3 into 1 will be 3 plus 1. It will be 4. So isn't it same? Yes. Now again for the second one we want to check. We can put 2. Fine. Then plus 1. Because 2 squares we want to make. 3 2 is a 6 plus 1 7. Isn't it same? So let us calculate for 10. If we want to make for 
uh, the 10 squares then how many matchsticks will be required so 3 multiplied by 10 plus 1 so what will we get 30 1 will be the answer so in this way we can write the answer here so you can enjoy these patterns you can make different different patterns and you can write your own rules of those patterns okay students i hope you have understood this thing that's all for today take care thank you